Okay, this part of our coal rigs, we're going to deal with the vessels, lights, day shapes, what are we going to see at night, what do we see during the day, um, how do we identify boats, uh, vessels, if you want to be uh, politically correct, um, and what lights they're going to display or what shape they're going to put up. So in very general terms, we have um, uh, two types of lights, uh, lights that identify the type of boat or what it's doing. Um, they're normally an all-round white, red or green um, and they will they will be uh, put on a mast of some sort. So power vessels, the smaller ones will have a, one mast, larger vessels will have two masts, um, and uh, sailing vessels obviously got the mast. So um, we talk about running lights um, being uh, port red, starboard green, head on. Um, we see it green and red, or maybe a stern light being white. Mast lights, as I've discussed, technically they're actually called mast headlights. Um, we also refer to lights as side lights, stern lights, tow lights, and all round lights. Um, and during the day, like I said, we need to display some shapes. So let's have a look at what we're talking about when it comes to lights and day shapes on a vessel. So this would be a typical sailing vessel where we have a port sector and we have a starboard sector and we have a stern sector so these lights will display on the vessel within these arcs the moment we turn our engine on and we change our sailing vessel to a power vessel we need to fill this arc to make it an all-round white light okay um, if you had to look what we're talking about on a vessel uh, not a very good drawing but yeah, you've got your, your running side lights, you've got a stern light going out the back, and on your mast you'd have this mast headlight shining out, and we would have to turn that light on. It's more like it shining all the way so that it fills that part. Okay, on, on a power vessel, it would, um, it would either have a single mast head or it could be double mast head with the side lights and stern lights. Yeah, so here we're typically uh, looking from the front, vessels coming towards us. It is a starboard light green and a port light red. No all-round white, it's a sailing vessel. This could also be a sailing vessel with a tricolor. So it's like this little cone shape that sits on the top of your mast. And it has these various sectors that shine the lights um, uh, so yeah just like that drawing that I had with with um, but basically like a little candle on top of the mast um, called a tricolor um, this when you see a red over green it's still a sailing vessel generally used on the the, the 24 meter plus um, sailing vessels where they'd have an all-round red and an all-round green this would be seen from the front if you had to see it from the side you'd probably still see all of this but you'd, you'd either see the port side or you'd see the starboard side or if you saw it from stern it would be a white uh, clear light for the sailing vessel this is this could be sailing or it could be power it's hard to say because it's from the stern of the vessel so it's just stern light okay now that we've uh, dealt with the sailing we now end up with the power vessel so during the day, it's not obvious that we're powering along, so we can have our sails up and we can be motor sailing, but we need to display this shape to show other vessels that we would display it over here telling us we're motor sailing. At night, obviously this falls away, and we have an all-round white, and we see it from the front. This one is seen from the front again, if it was from port or starboard, we would see the green or the red. Uh, here is a power vessel that is longer than 50 meters. So this one here, only one all round, shorter than 50 meters. This one here, two all round whites, longer than 50 meters. Because we can't see the vessel, but we can see it's um, by the lights that it's longer. And during the day, it's obviously don't need another day shape for that motor vessel during the day because it's pretty obvious it's either a, a power vessel less than 50 or more than 50. Okay, this would be a sailing vessel seen from starboard. And then we have a power vessel seen from starboard less than 50 meters long. 
and on a second mast head we would be greater than 50 meters power okay this is a so this indicates to us during the day that there's a towing situation happening here but at night we can't see two vessels being towed um, so we've got to now find some lights so two round or white lights indicate to us that the tow length is less than 200 meters two for 200 meters or less okay we don't have an additional all round white so this vessel is also shorter than 50 meters we are seeing it from the starboard side okay um, this would be a vessel still tow length of less than 200 meters but now we've got two all round white lights which indicate that the vessel is sorry is greater than 50 meters and we're seeing it from starboard okay during the day it would have the shape and we would actually be able to see that it was longer than 50 so there's no other day shape for that um, here we have a situation same day shape so we can obviously obviously see what's going on um, because we can see the length of the vessel and we can see how far apart the vessels are that are being towed but at night we now have three so it's gone from less than 200 meters to greater than 200 meter tow length okay we also have this doubles up it could be one telling us that the vessel is greater than 50 meters and telling us that we're seeing it from the starboard side okay same tow length greater than 200 no second masthead so vessel is less than 50 meters during the day it would be obvious we'd be able to see all of that and we'd also see which direction it was going but at night we can see it's on this, this is a starboard so we know it's going that way this would what you'd see from the stern the same diamond shape but we'd have yellow over white from the stern indicating it's a towing situation okay here we have day symbol for a fishing or a trawling vessel it'll be the same day symbol but for a fishing vessel we stop to fish technically it actually red over white is a fishing vessel which is identified as fishing because its gear is on the surface it's not deep trawling but the easiest way to remember this which we stop to fish so red over white another way to kind of look at this is we often refer to the fishermen as Haruk with their red eyes okay we're seeing it from a starboard side so the vessel is going that way here's that trawling vessel so to trawl we have to go so it's green to be going um, and these nets are deep down nets that's the technical side of it so green over white day shape is our same for fishing and trawling seeing it from the port side indicating the vessel is going that way okay now we have the same situation so we still have a fishing vessel but now we're seeing it head on it's coming straight towards us this could have also been like an all-round white light um, it would have been quite confusing uh, but it could have had this all around and, and I would, we would have seen it from the stern but out on the rail there would be another all round white light which is telling us it's got gear of more than 150 meters out so remember surface gear more dangerous uh, red over white fishing gear out during the day they would show us this and they'd have that shape on the rail uh, the rest of it we'd be able to see which way it's going and um, it's pretty obvious during the day okay remember i spoke about the red over white being Kharuk. now we're dealing with a pilot white over red pilot out of bed um, other way to look at it is generally he's an older guy has been in this in the service for a long time often enjoyed the pub red nose but when he goes to work his eyes are clear he's working so he has nice clear eyes we're seeing this from the port side which tells us he's going that way and he's doing the task of a pilot vessel okay uh,
During the night, an all-round white, you can see it's fairly high up, indicates to us that the vessel at anchor. During the day, it would be a black ball displayed. Okay, this vessel at anchor is less than 100 meters long. Because if it was over 100 meters, it would need to show two all-round white lights, preferably on the bow and the stern. And during the day, it's quite obvious its length, but it would still display the black ball to show us. The other thing that could happen here is cabin lights could be on, so there could be a whole lot of little white lights there. Okay, two black balls during the day. Uh, two black balls indicate danger. Um, so here we have a vessel that is not under command. Not under command is a vessel that as a result of extreme circumstances is unable to maneuver. It's not that the captain's gone off to the heads. It's actually that the vessel is not under command, unable to actually turn or you, maybe that's engine's gone or maybe it's rudder's gone. So during the night, two red balls. Um, during the day, two black balls. You may see something like this with a white light at night. It's really indicating not under command, but run aground. Okay, if we had a diamond between our balls during the day, we would be restricted in ability to maneuver so at night a red white red all round um, so here's a dredger in fact because it's telling us the safe side to pass is this side the dangerous side to pass is this side and it's telling us it's restricted in ability to maneuver you could also maybe have seen a green light or a red light over here telling us from which side you're seeing it is it going that way or is it going that way so it's day shapes are um, yeah, that same restricted ability to maneuver. Two black balls is danger. And pass me on this side. Okay, yeah, I don't know when you're going to see this, but it has. I have been challenged by this before. At night, three round green lights uh, all round is a minesweeper. During the day, they would display it as three black balls. And the last... Um, uh, sort of day shape well, it's probably the only flag you really have to know there are quite a few other flags but this one is very clear a diver down please stay clear thank you if you need any more help give me a shot um, and I, i'll have another slide for the rest of the coral rigs coming up soon